Okay, at this point, I'm assuming you watched this video, at least parts of it, so that you're able to launch Kyle Studio using Chrome. And I'm assuming also you've used my apps to launch Putty, and you've used the device manager to make sure you're on the correct COM port. Let's just see if that's true. So if we go here to rightmost click on Windows, we can go up here to Device Manager, and we can check to make sure that we've got the right COM port. Then we can launch Putty itself. And you can see it should be whatever COM port you've got, and it should be at 9600 baud. And under Terminal, you should have implicit line feed, never carriage return shut off. Once you open that up, you'll have your COM port that you should be able to work with. Now let's see what else it says. It says to copy this link, and it says to paste this into the file slash clone option of Kyle Studio. So if we go up here, we can say file, clone, then it's waiting. So what we're going to do is we're going to rightmost click on this. We're going to say copy link. We're going to go back here. We're going to rightmost click and we're going to say paste. And we're going to say add project. It'll make it the active project here. Now we can take a look at main.cpp and there's the exact code that you need to work with. Now you notice that as in the video, you've got the ability to build and run, but you cannot debug. So now that you've got this, you should be able to run it and make sure you work with it the same way as shown in the original video at the top of the lab.